हेलो एवरीवन सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी कॉमन एंड इंटरेस्टिंग एंड आई थॉट आई प्रॉब्ली टॉक अबाउट इट बिकॉज यू आल्सो वांट टू मे बी डू द सेम सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम विश एंड विश इज आस्किंग रिकवर डिलेटेड इश्यूज हाउ कैन आई रिकवर बैक इश्यूज दैट वर डिलेटेड फोर वीक्स अगो नो इन जीरा देर इज नो सच फीचर एज recovering of your deleted issues although when you uh when you have to delete issues in fact the feature of deletion in jira is basically a feature when uh, you create the issues for maybe uh a specific reason and that specific reason is probably not valid anymore or maybe you just uh, did a mistake and you want to get rid of the issue so deleting is a feature but don't use the delete feature in jira as a way to uh tell your members your team that no work is further needed in fact in jira usually if you look at the workflows there is something there is there is usually a closed status so when there is no further work involved or needs to be done you would close the issue and uh, along with the closure of the issue you would also update the resolution which is basically saying that what happened when the issue was closed there is no further required but what actually what, what was the outcome was this issue fixed or was it done or not done or maybe it was a duplicate or it was uh, maybe um m- maybe it was uh, uh created by mistake for some reason or there could be any final resolution basically use the use the status called for called close status and when you have a close status you can also add some uh, workflow uh property to your uh, to your status that when the issue is closed then do, do not allow any further edits which is one option but uh, deleting is of course one option that is is one in is one feature that you would use when uh, uh you actually made a mistake and you have to get rid of the issue however there are some other uh, valid reasons when you actually want to delete an issue and that op- that, that reason could be maybe you want to do some clean up maybe your jira instance is huge or getting huge and maybe you think you need to get rid of the old uh, projects maybe you have a policy that all the old projects are maybe or anything old older than 2 years 5 years needs to be removed because you don't care really care about them so you can delete those issues or projects and uh, before you actually delete the issues or projects make sure you take a backup because when you have a backup then you can restore it somewhere it could be cloud it could be server or maybe you can export the issues to a csv file or maybe you can export the issues using rest api so keep keep dumping the issues outside your jira instance and once you are sure that this particular 5 year old project or projects are no are no longer needed or actively needed you you have a backup somewhere then then delete them and uh, you may want to do it you may want to take a dump somewhere because uh, it could be a uh, i mean it could be a well, it it could be a requirement for compliance or audit or maybe you want to just make sure you have the archive some somewhere and in those situations of course you know deleting does make sense but normally when you delete an issue in jira you will of course lose all track of it it will be gone forever and you you won't be able to figure out what happened with that particular activity so do not delete issues in most cases because uh, you don't really want to delete issues you want to basically close them because if you delete issues so it means that uh, it was probably created created by mistake or there is uh, no need to actively track it anymore in jira so that is all that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you thank you very much